JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, police inspector grilled on why ex-gangster was not charged. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A police inspector who was in charge of the team that investigated the Wandong gang case was yesterday unable to shed light on why the prosecution's second witness, who is a former member, was never charged. According to the senior officer, who supported and supervised the investigation, the decision not to charge the ex-gangster was taken at another level. The police witness was grilled by senior counsel Lloyd McFarlane about the decision during cross-examination in the Home Circuit Court. The presiding judge, Chief Justice Brian Sykes, also intervened on the attorney's behalf in a bid to get information on what he described as a great mystery surrounding the decision not to charge the ex-gangster, would confess to being involved in serious crimes, including murders, extortion, and possession of illegal firearm and ammunition. What caused him to maintain his uncharged status? Not even a caution. Not even to say thank you for your information. But if you want to be in the team, you have to be charged, he asked. Noting that the police must have accepted the ex-gangster's account, the judge further asked why he was not charged even with a minor offense or charged and given a plea deal. But the inspector said, I can't answer. When asked if his answer was a refusal or an inability, the police witness explained that the decision was made after he had sought advice from his senior and legal team. He said adding the decision not to charge was made at a higher level. The judge then asked the police witness if he was told about the reasons. He replied saying while discussion were had about the case, he cannot speak to the reason at this time. Sykes further asked the witness to explain while one of the ex-gangster's colleagues, who is also a prosecution witness, was charged while was free as a bird and sleeping sound at night. Even today, a can't shed any light? The judge asked. That is so, my lord, he answered. Earlier during questioning from McFarlane, the inspector admitted that when he had met and spoken with the ex-gangster, he had never cautioned him. He also agreed that he had instructed the lead investigator to take a witness statement from the ex-gangster, but denied that when he gave that instruction, a decision had already been taken to not charge the witness. There was no information that I had at the time to say it was anything other than a witness, he said. According to the inspector, initially, he was not aware that the witness was deeply involved in serious crimes. He said he found out after reading portions of his statement. But despite coming to that awareness, he said he was not the one who made the decision for him not to be charged. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.